Today, probably better to be on a U-boat. At least it's warm. It's Stalingrad. Stalingrad is a 1993 German-made film following a group of German soldiers who win the lottery big time when they get redeployed from boring old Italy to the exciting Eastern Front, just in time to take part in the Battle of Stalingrad. In reality, this was one of the most important battles of the Second World War, and perhaps one of the bloodiest ever fought, and was ultimately a military disaster for the Germans. This film depicts that without pulling its punches, and although we rarely see the Russians, and follow German soldiers as they transition from eager green to child killer grey, it comes across as not just anti-war, but anti-Nazi Germany. Ich bin kein Nazi, Otto. Nein. Ihr seid viel schlimmer, ihr Offiziersgesocks. Und wenn sie nur einmal daneben schießen. Several of our heroes are fairly morally upright, or at least conflicted, but the antagonists aren't really the Russians so much as German High Command, who are portrayed as sheeps pretending to be shepherds, almost worse than Nazis, bureaucrats doing the Nazis' bidding. It's quite nuanced in this way, but really what makes Stalingrad stand out is its layering of dread and desperation. <laughs> Und ihr wisst doch alle, dass wir schleunigst aus diesem verdammten Kessel raus müssen. There are beats and brutal action sequences in Stalingrad that could almost be the finale of other war films, but they appear here before we're halfway through. So we end up going on the same journey as the Germans. You think it's bad now? It hasn't even started. Filming in Czechoslovakia, Finland and Italy, Stalingrad makes great use of its sets by constantly piling on the carnage, and it's very successful in keeping us invested in the characters, despite it being clear from the very beginning what their fates must be. I blame that Hitler fella. Tomorrow, more cold weather, so much so, you'll probably be overcome by art.